Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. My name is Charles, amateur radio call sign KD5TKR. And uh, in my last video, I had uh, mentioned that uh, I'm back making videos again, and that uh, in the future, in some point, maybe within the next couple of years, uh, we're going to be moving uh, out into a rural area. I have uh, a lot of land out there that I have access to, and um, a lot of it is um, not really usable for farming. It's more of a ranch property. Uh, there's an area in particular that is a, uh, a former industrial site, an old gravel uh, pit operation. And um, so while it's not useful for farming or really even for ranching, uh, that one central area, it would be useful for uh, putting up a house, a shop, a uh, ham shack, and an antenna farm. So I've uh, been looking around, and I think I've decided that I want to try some rhombic antennas. Uh, in the past, I've run uh, Skyloop antennas, and I've had really good luck with them. So I would imagine that uh, most of you are familiar with the Skyloop antenna, uh, just basically a big loop in the air uh, with a feed point, and it's connected all the re rest of the way around. And uh, I've uh, fed one of those with my uh, ICOM 7300, a uh, SB200 from Heathkit, and an SA2040 tuner, uh, which has balanced output on it. So what I want to do is switch over to using uh, rhombic antennas, which um, is basically two equal lengths of wire, either terminated into a resistor or unterminated. Uh, if it's terminated into a resistor, it becomes directional uh, in the direction of where the resistor is at, which is opposite the feed point. If it's open, then uh, it's a bi-directional antenna. And it would look something like the diagram here on the right side with uh, four poles or towers, um, some kind of support uh, with your feeder coming in and then with your open or terminating resistor. Uh, some designs also have a uh, shorting stub, but uh, since that's not usually tunable, uh, it limits your operation to uh, a small frequency range. I'd rather have something that's going to be usable across uh, wide frequency ranges. And uh, here is a picture of one that uh, AT&T used to use uh, to communicate from uh, California to uh, China. So what I've done is I looked online and I found Tom's website, NS60. I'll include a link to that website in the description. You can generate an azimuthal map that will give you your headings that you need to use to reach certain areas. I would like to be able to reach out to Europe. Uh, also to Central and South America, to the Eastern uh, Australia, and to so, uh, some parts of uh, Asia. Since Asia is so big, it would be hard to uh, cover that whole area. But I'd like to cover at least Japan. So once I had that, I was able to use Google Maps, well, Google Earth, and I have a screen cap here uh, showing what I worked out. So... The uh, yellow rectangle is where we're going to build the house. The black rectangle is where the shop and ham shack will be. A tower will be here somewhere uh, with some sort of directional uh, HF beam uh, for the higher bands on it. Power feed comes in from the north. It's aerial, but I'm going to run it underground from where these slabs are at over to the house and the shop uh, so that I don't have to deal with as much electrical noise, at least in the very near field to my antenna farm. So the, the red rhombuses here are going to be my uh, rhombic antennas. Uh, the northeast one is pointing to Europe. The northwest one is pointing towards Asia. The southwest one is pointing towards Australia, specifically eastern Australia, so I can cover uh, Sydney and Canberra. And then the southeast is pointing uh, in general towards uh, Central and South America, uh, specifically Ecuador and uh, Chile. Uh, so, once I have all that up, I'll uh, start doing some uh, experimenting. I've already uh, set up uh, basically a portable uh, vertical out there, and the noise floor is uh, incredibly low. Uh, so low, in fact, that uh, my 7300 uh, doesn't even really show where the noise floor is at, and uh, I can see the whole band covered in signals. So, uh, I'm going to be going out there this weekend, uh, Independence Day weekend, 
this video is probably going to go up just uh, before the Independence Day weekend holiday. Um, so that video, I'll, t I'll shoot some video while I'm on site, give you an idea of what the area looks like. That'll be posted up the following week. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, comments, uh, advice for these antennas, or if you've uh, used Rhombix or even Skyloops in the past, uh, go ahead and post below. And uh, make sure to hit the uh, like button if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to uh, share and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.